Francis Mubindu from the Department of CSRD in the College of uh, Aeronautical Engineering College. And today in this video, I would like to explain the conversion of Epsilon NFA to DFE. So with examples. And here in the previous videos, we already discussed the conversions of NFA to DFA. And last video, we discussed the, uh, from a uh, conversion of Epsilon NFA to NFA. So here in this video, we have to combine all the uh, two methods what we have discussed in the previous videos with the conversion of NFA to DFA and Epsilon NFA to NFA. So here we have to combine both methods to convert Epsilon NFA to DFA. So here what are, what are the steps involved in the conversion of the NFA to D, uh, Epsilon NFA to DFA? So here in the first step, we will take the enclosure for the starting state of the NFA as the starting state of the NFA. So here we enclosure uh, enclosure of NFA. We already discussed this topic in the enclosure of NFA to DFA construction. So here in the first step, what we have to do in the sense enclosure. Enclosure, we have to find the enclosure of every state. So uh, wherever we are starting, we have to start from the initial state. So that from initial state, we have to start the enclosure of NFA or DFA. And in the step two, find the states for each input symbol that can be traversed from the present. And so here we have to find the states, each input symbol, whatever, how many inputs we have in the transition diagram, we have to find all the possible traversed all the possible traversed symbols from present to next state. So that means the union of transition value, the their closure for each state of NFA present in the current state of DFA. So here we will discuss with the examples about all these steps one by one. And here the step three, if we found a new state, then take it as a current state and repeat the step two. So this uh, this conversion, this step is repeated in the uh, DFA, conversion of NFA to DFA example. So we, st we studied uh, the conversion of NFA to DFA. We, if you found any new state in the conversion, we have to start from that state. And next fourth step is repeat step two and three until there is no new state. So in case of there is no new state, until we have to repeat the same steps, step two and three, we have to repeat this, those steps to find the all the transition diagram for, and we have to build the transition table for the data. Mark the state of DFA as a final state uh, which contains the final state of NFA. So whatever after conversion of this uh, epsilon NFA to NFA, we have from NFA. So in that NFA, what is the final state? Those final states are to be a final states in the DFA also. Let's move with the uh, let's move discussion to the conversion of epsilon NFA to DFA with examples. So here we have taken one simple example. We have here the states, Q, four states we have. So if you saw any diagram, we have to first find out the phi tuple. So whether it is, we have to find whether this, uh, it is epsilon NFA or NFA or DFA. So in this diagram, we saw that epsilon symbol. So it is obviously epsilon NFA. So by seeing these two symbols, we already we can say that it is a epsilon NFA. So now we have to convert this epsilon NFA to DFA. So for this one, first step, what we have to do in the sense we have to find the phi tuple for this one. So phi tuple in the sense uh, we already know that every for every NFA or DFA and epsilon NFA we have phi tuple. So in that one, it is having a Q. It is a set of states, finite set of states. We can say that it is a finite set of states and delta. So delta is nothing but it is a transition function whether it is an NFA or DFA. Based on the NFA or DFA, epsilon NFA, we have the equations. And initial state and final state and sigma. So these are the phi tuple for every transition diagrams we can represent the phi tuple for this one. And here the Q, Q here Q is nothing but how many states we have Q0, Q1, Q2 and Q3. So we have the so finite set of states Q0, 
q1 q2 and q3 and also q4 q4 is a final state and next transition so transition function is nothing but we have to cross for every input symbol we, for every state we have to find the transition function with the union of epsilon symbol is equal to 2 power q and next initial state is q not and final state is q4 so double circled is a final state and wherever the arrow mark starts that is the initial state so q not and next sigma so how many values input symbols we have in this transition diagram in the sense 0 comma 1 so this is a phi tuple if we every diagram is having this uh, every transition diagram can be represented in this tuples so we have to find first of all how many states in that one whether it is epsilon nfa or nfa or dfa and how many uh, state input symbols are there and how to transition diagram uh, transition function is there and uh, initial state and final state we have to represent in the diagram and coming to the conversion first step what we have to do for every conversion of epsilon nfa to dfa so conversion of epsilon nfa and so epsilon nfa we saw that epsilon nfa to dfa conversion we saw epsilon closure so epsilon closure so in this closure first we have to take the state and epsilon closure for input symbols and epsilon closure so here whatever how many states are there we have to find for every state is there any epsilon closure for this one so epsilon closure for for this example for epsilon closure for a q not state epsilon closure so wherever q not is going with the input symbol and itself is also epsilon closure so q not and epsilon by seeing the epsilon symbol it is reaching q1 and by seeing the epsilon symbol it is reaching q2 and for every input so whether we have to a sigma is equal to we have 0 comma 1 so for every input we have to find the epsilon suppose here if you take 0 as an input and for this one q not to 0 q not to 0 input symbol it is there is no so we have to right and for q1 to 0 it is reaching the q3 and q2 to 0 nothing so for q3 epsilon closure itself it is having the epsilon symbol so this epsilon epsilon closure we already discussed in the conversion of epsilon nfa to nfa now we'll get so first of all, first we have first step we will do that one epsilon closure for every state so epsilon closure for every state q0 is equal to so q0 q1 and q2 so we will for q2 q1 so q0 itself it is q1 itself it is having epsilon symbol and there is no epsilon symbol it is going to the other state here and q2 only q2 is there and for q3 q3 is there and for q4 q4 itself itself it is all the states with itself it is having the epsilon symbol so we can represent this one a b c D and E. So we all we can say that all these symbols in this one, the new state is here, this one. So here for every state we have to find the transition diagram. So for A with the input symbols. So we are simplifying this method. So transition of 
a comma 0 so a is nothing but transition of q0 q1 q2 comma 0 so it is a union q0 to comma 0 union transition of q1 comma 0 union transition of q2 comma 0 union so q0 0 pi and q1 0 it is reaching q3 and q0 q2 0 pi so finally q3 is so q3 is d here we can see that and transition of a comma 1 so transition of a comma 1 so a is nothing but here 1 so by all these union operations so we have the q not 0 q not 1 q not 1 q not 1 there is a transition of q not 1 transition of q 1 1 transition of union transition of q 2 1 so here the q not 1 is pi and q1 1 is pi and union q1 q2 1 is q3 so here whatever we have so here both is having the same thing so here finally q3 is d so here the so new symbols are there only q3 q3 here there is no new symbol here So, B is A and A. And after that, for B state, we have to find. So, there is a Q1 is nothing there. And Q3, for Q3, we have to, new state is a D. So, for transition of Q3, comma, so that is D, comma, 0. Transition of D, comma. 0. So, D here in the sense the transition of Q3, 0. So, Q3, 0 it is pi and transition of D, 1. Transition of Q3, 1. So, Q3, 1 it is reaching Q4. So, Q4 transition of Q4 is E here. So, for E 0, 1. So, for E Q4 transition of Q4, 0. So, it is nothing pi. And transition of E, 1. Transition of Q, Q4, 1. It is pi. From Q4, there is nothing. There is nothing. So, here we have the states a, d and e. So, with this one we can write, we can write the DFA construction. So, here the starting state is a. So, for a input symbol we saw that b, sorry d, So, for 0 input it is reaching D and for 1 input symbol also it is reaching D and after reaching D, D to E. So, Q4 symbol is here E. So, here with the input 1. So, this is the transition diagram for the conversion of epsilon NFA to DFA. Let's move to the another example. And here the we have taken the three input symbols here. So and the three input symbols had three states. So phi tuple is so phi tuple for this one a q so q comma sigma comma and starting state final state and transition diagram. So, Q here in the sense. So, three states we have. 
true to and sigma it is having the three input symbols 0 1 2 and q naught is the initial state and f is the final state q2 is the final state and transition function so transition diagram so as usual q cross sigma with the union of epsilon symbol so here same way we have to first find out the epsilon symbol of epsilon closure for each state so the epsilon closure for each state in the sense So, epsilon closure for each state Q naught. So, Q naught so Q naught for Q naught epsilon closure for this one. So, itself it is having the Q naught and it is reaching Q1 and it is reaching Q2. So, we can say that it is new symbol and for Q1 epsilon closure. So, from Q1, Q1, Q2 and this is B and Q2, epsilon closure itself it is having epsilon closure. So, and this is C. So, same way we have to first find out the transition diagrams for each enclosure. So, each enclosure, so here we can say that we have input symbols, three input symbols. So, first we have to find for each and every input symbol, we have to find the transition diagram. So, here for A is nothing but transition of Q0, Q1 and Q2 with the input symbol 0. So, here transition Q0, 0 union transition of q1 comma 0 uh, union transition of q2 comma 0 so here the q0 itself it is having a, it is reaching q0 union so here from q1 there is nothing and so from q2 it is reaching no input symbol of 0 so here finally it is q0 so sorry q0 so q0 and next and here the epsilon closure of A here Q0, Q1, comma Q2, comma 1 for input symbols. So here there is Q0, 1 it is pi union, Q1, 1 it is itself it is reaching Q1 and union Q2, 1 it is it's pi. So here again Q1. And next for this two input symbol transition q0 comma q1 comma q2 comma 2. So here q0 to this 2 or pi union q2 q q2. So it is q2. And for the input symbol q1 and q2. So here we will find like this q1, q2 and q3. So, here transition of new state is Q, B comma 0 and transition of B comma 1 and transition of B comma 2. For in every input symbol, we have to find the transition diagram. So, Q0, Q1 comma Q2 comma for input symbol 0, it is so Q1 0, it is pi union q1 0 q1 q2 1 q2 0 it is pi nothing and for transition of q2 q1 comma q2 for input symbol 1 so q1 1 it is reaching q1 union q2 1 there is nothing so pi only q1 and here also we have to find q2 so, Q1, comma Q2, comma 0, 1, 2 as an input symbol. Finally, it is Q2, Q only. It is only Q1, Q2. So, here the pi, nothing, Q1, Q2. So, like this for 
and we have to find the state c also so transition of c comma 0 transition of c comma 1 and transition of c comma 2 so for this uh, transition q2 comma 0 it is q2 comma 0 it is pi and finally this is also pi and and here q2 comma q2 so like this we can convert this epsilon nfa to dfa uh, in the uh, transition diagram so thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates